To paraphrase JZ, there's never been another this good for this long. On Wednesday night, Billy Joel played Madison Square Garden for the 65th time, breaking the record for solo performances at the famed New York City Arena previously held by his buddy Elton John. It's been a long road for the 66-year-old Joel, who reminisced during Wednesday's show about coming to message as a five-year-old kid and watching Gene Autry sing Rudolph, the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Joel sang along that day but didn't make his proper message debut until 1978, the year he released his chart-topping album 52nd Street. I want to thank you so much for making this possible, Joel told Wednesday's capacity crowd, and indeed, he's living the dream. In Long Island, where he's from, most kids grow up dreaming of becoming rock stars yet wind up being New York City commuters. Joel gets to do both, as last year, he began a monthly residency at the Garden that's helped push him past Elton and way beyond guys like Bruce Springsteen, Paul Simon, Paul McCartney, and yes, JZ, who has headlined message fewer than a dozen times. Joel's residency is slated to continue into 2016 so for the time being, his title is secure. While Wednesday's concert was light on surprises, there were lots of great moments. Read on for a recap of the nine best things that happened at the Piano Man's record-breaking gig. 1. He had to open with Big Shot, didn't he? Appropriately enough, Billy reached back to 1978, the year of his first message show, for Wednesday's opening salvo. The part with the horns and whoa oh oh vocals kills every time. 2. The King of Queens paid tribute. The evening's only special guest was actor and comedian Kevin James, former star of the sitcom The King of Queens. Just before helping to raise a banner commemorating Joel's accomplishment, James congratulated Billy on edging out Elton. You beat him by one, he said. You beat me by 65. 3. He gave props to the former record holder. The night wasn't about bagging on Elton, though. One of the highlights was Joel's cover of John's 1973 ballad Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Damn good song, said Billy afterward, 